Oh, here comes the rain again. Hello again, YouTube land. Pardon my frazzled state. Life of a housewife is not a simple or quick one. Really, I should say house spouse. Um, I posted something last week about the sugary drinks ban here in New York City. Um, it's an interesting and impassioned 10 minute video if you'd like to watch it. But within that time span, I believe we had World Suicide Prevention Day, and I read a blog posting by Will Wheaton, um, which I discovered via following his Twitter feed. And in a nod to those who suggested, as good as my vlogs can be or have been, they tend to get a bit lengthy. I'm chatty, what can I say? Apparently less. So I've tried to script this particular posting to time it into a more reasonable amount of time. So hopefully six minutes or less, including this introduction. Again, I apologize for the reflection of my glasses, but without them, I'm blind as all hell. Okay. I recently read Will Wheaton's blog about his depression. I was glad he posted it. Depression does lie. But we live in a society and culture which advocates doing so. We're taught to hide how we really feel, to avoid scorn for lack of normalcy. What a load. Humans laud their ancients for their passion and creativity of self-expression. Now, it's political hay and fodder to say what you honestly think. Agree with what was said or not, but you can't stop someone from feeling how they do. We live in a shadow society, that's the truth of it if you ask me. Those of us who face mental issues, many of us from birth, are taught it's wrong to be sick. We're taught to hide it and pretend to be like everyone else as best we can. Well, newsflash, we aren't like everyone else. See, now I was born with a chemical imbalance via hereditary condition. My mother, now long dead, and my little sister have the same condition as me. It is a constant struggle. It's also an impossibly difficult subject to discuss with other people. I should know. This is me talking. I'm uncomfortable doing it. Many of the nights I go to bed, it is a crapshoot if I'll sleep at all, let alone if I'll sleep well. Dark, night, solitude, these are not things I've ever done well with. I'm in bed too early. I'm up too early. I overeat, I undereat, and all because of the stress I feel under. I've now taken up food journaling in a further effort to manage my health and reshed many, many pounds. Now, I was 340 by the age of 20. I had gastric bypass, and despite dropping all the way down to 175 pounds 18 months out, I'm now back at 290. Poor sleep, stress, and medication are my major downfall. Now, I'm sure very few people realize the catastrophic weight gain most of us face when we take psych meds. The side effects are traumatic. We have no control over it. So you start treating the side effects so you can stay on the psych medication, and before long, your body is just a hardly functioning mobile pharmacology lab. Now, there are ways to manage symptoms without taking more meds, plenty of them. But it all depends on the severity of your issue or potentially issues. Now, me, I've always hated Western medicine, despite how well some drugs have worked for me. Of course, living with a substance abusing parent will do that to your views. So I suppose the main point I want to make is this. Thank you to those who are willing to discuss the subject. People like Mr. Wheaton, who have the following that they do, make the best advocates. No, really, they do. Not by promoting a drug or some treatment method. No. His best advocacy for the subject is acknowledging its existence in his life. That simple. By giving voice to the issue, when a good portion of those who look up to him find themselves very unable to do so. 
In my case, life with my own condition isn't easy, and medication has never been a complete answer to the things I have to deal with, but I'm always happy to hear the topic is gaining ground on a much more public stage. I admit, I'm gratified to see that the very long shadow cast on subjects of therapy, psychology, depression, and mental disease is now being drawn back and allowing the light of sensible discussion in. So thank you again to those like Will who have the bravery of spirit to admit their own humanity. Thus ends my piece for today. Yes, it is uncomfortable talking about that subject. As comfortable as I am sharing many, many other things, the stigmata I grew up understanding it to be still pervades my mind, so it's not easy. But thanks again, Will Wheaton.